y'all. It is supper time here in Kentucky, and guess what we're having tonight? We're having prime rib sliders. We get these at Sam's, and you get, let's see, three, six, nine, 18 sliders for $15.54. 18, which, you know, they're small. They're about half the size of a regular burger, but they're great, and 18 of them, and it's prime rib. I mean, duh. I normally grill these, but I'm not going to today because it's so windy here. I'm afraid I'm gonna catch on fire. So I'm gonna put these on my um, griddle. I've never done burgers on a griddle before. I either do them on the grill, on the stove, or in the oven. And I was talking to my daddy a while ago. He's like, try them on the griddle. I was like, yeah, I have a big griddle. So we're gonna do that. But in the meantime, I love, and my family loves homemade steak fries. They are so good. And I'm gonna show you real quick how I make them. First thing I do is I get six potatoes, about this size, about the length of my hand, and I wash them really good. So I'm gonna cut them in half. Pioneer woman again, y'all. I'm gonna cut them my half into thirds, depending on how big your potato is. This is about the size you want it, perfect. Throw it on our cookie sheet pan. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. Let me get this other potato cut up. I'm gonna cut those in half. I took them, the ones like this, I cut in half. So instead of three pieces out of a half a potato, I'm gonna do six, because that is a long potato. And I leave the skins on because I wash them and the skin's good for you. So what I do is I take my cookie sheet pan, I don't have it greased, I cut up a bunch of potatoes, and then I'm gonna douse them with some olive oil and some spices, and once I get this full, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, got my six potatoes cut up and this is what they look like. There's nothing on these, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I take EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, and I just drizzle as much as my heart tells me to on here. I curve them pretty good. Then I take, of course, salt. You gotta salt your potatoes. If you don't, they just, they're just bland. But you know what's funny about me is I don't like garlic salt. I never have. I like fresh garlic and I like garlic powder, but I don't like garlic salt. And I've got garlic powder. Sprinkle over them and some pepper. And you know me, I don't like pepper, but french fries has gotta have a little bit of pepper. So I'm gonna take my clean hands and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna toss them around really good in my spice mixture and in the olive oil. Then I'm gonna make sure they're all coated and spread out evenly on the pan. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees. I cook these for about 30 minutes. I set my timer for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minute timer goes off, I get in there and I turn them all over and I spread them around again. That way they're evenly cooked. I always got to keep a towel beside me because they're greasy. All right, this is what it looks like. Let me throw them in the oven. In the meantime, while those are cooking, let's make some fry sauce. Cane, Raising Cane's chicken is my absolute favorite chicken in the entire world to eat, besides my own. I love it. I've never had a bad meal from there, and we love the cane sauce. So I have figured out how to make it, and my husband even loves it. And he's not a big fry dipping sauce guy, except for ketchup, but he loves this. So what you do is you take you a cup of mayonnaise, and you know I've been trying this blue plate. I've never tried blue plate mayonnaise before, and I like it. I like the taste of it. I like the consistency and the texture. I'll buy it again. So again, I'm not measuring, I'm eyeballing. Got a cup of mayonnaise. To that, we're gonna add half a, ketchup, half a cup of ketchup. And I'm just gonna squirt it in there. We're gonna add a tablespoon of Worcestershire. teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and I just do a pinch, and a teaspoon of black pepper. I 
put something else in mine once I get it stirred up. Can you guess what it is? Sugar. Sugar makes everything better. And I didn't grab it. Let me grab it real quick. Mayonnaise sometimes is hard to get stirred up and smooth. I probably should have done this with a whisk. Now do mm, about a tablespoon of sugar. I am making a heck of a mess with this sugar. So there's fry sauce, a cup of mayonnaise, a half a cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And it's gonna look like this. It's great. Put in the refrigerator while your fries are baking because the sugar will dissolve in it and it will be fantastic. Once my fries get done and I throw all my burgers on the griddle, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, got my griddle preheated to 350 degrees. My fries are in the oven. We're gonna grill up these prime rib steak burgers. The only thing I put on these is one thing, and it's Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. You get this at Sam's, it's like $6.98. It is the best stuff in the world. My family loves these burgers, and they love this seasoning, and I do too. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat both sides, flap these big boys on the griddle, and we're gonna cook them up. First time I've cooked burgers on a griddle, I hope it goes okay. They're sizzling, so that's a good sign, right? Can y'all hear that? All right, let me get these on my griddle, and then we'll be back. Y'all, I'm impressed. I just flipped my burgers for the first time. And look at this. You even get a crust on your burgers. My daddy might be onto something. Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna show y'all sneak peek is something I'm gonna make tomorrow. If you've got this, set it up, we'll make it together. We need two packages of room temperature cream cheese. I take mine out of the package. I'm gonna put it on my countertops and let it set out overnight. Then, like I said, two packages of cream cheese. Two rolls of Pillsbury Crescent rolls. These things are phenomenal. They're on sale right now at Sam's too. So all I'm gonna say, is get you, if you got some cream cheese, if you've got some um, crescent rolls, join me tomorrow because we're gonna make a treat and you're gonna need a nine by 13 pan. Now I'm gonna go check these fries because I smell them. Y'all see my plate of my little prime rib sliders? They're about the size of my palm. I cooked 14 of them. There's only four of us home tonight and 90% of them like cheese. I'm weird. I don't like cheese on my burger and Mason, Depends on what day it is. Some days he likes cheese and some days he doesn't. My fries are done. I've got them on broil right now, getting them lit really, really crispy. And while they're broiling, getting almost done, I took me a big glass bowl, filled it with paper towels because I'm gonna drain my fries in this to get some of the oil off. It's less greasy. I know, right? But a little bit healthier. Here we go, guys. Homemade steak fries. I lost my spatula. Be right back. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna put them on my paper towels, let them drain, and we're ready to eat. So stay tuned, we're gonna do taste testing with the hubs. We've not done it in a few days because he's a picky eater. So we'll see y'all in just a minute. All right, here's our about a five pound bowl of steak fries. I've got me just a little one on my fork. You know, I got a taste test and it is so hot because I had them on. I cooked them for 30 minutes on 425, 450. I, I cranked it up a little bit because these are thicker. And then I put them on broil for five minutes. So I'm going to take my fry and I'm going to go in with this homemade fry sauce I made. Hopefully to cool it down a little bit because it's really hot. Mmm. I love that fry sauce. It's so good. Y'all go make you some steak fries and some burgers on your griddle. Call it a night. I'll see y'all soon. I love you and have a great, great night.